initially we were not sure where to go. He invited you, you can stay at his to house. Where he lives. Oh, far away from here. Not he, your spare house, eh? 20, <laughs> 25 miles yeah. from here. Yes. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But he's telling your daughter has very good place here. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Mr. Lajpat is telling this place much better. Than <laughs> 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 Thank you. I also like. <laughs> and she is uh, more than a doctor, <laughs> allopathic doctor. <laughs>
बोलते हैं पूरा का शरीर गौरांग बोलते हैं गौरांग बोलते हे फूला का शरीर
चंद्राय राधिकाय सदा हरि कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय यू शुड नो दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई मेट शिला अभय चरणार बिंद प्रभु दैट इज Shri Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj in Calcutta. Our Guru Maharaj has met there. He established, and he was one of the foundation member. Foundation member of our Gaudiya Vedan Samiti. So here, after some time, I went Calcutta with my Guru Dev and Prabhu. This Prabhu. Abhay Charan Prabhu was there. 1946. I, 1946. You <laughs> <laughs> cannot imagine. 1946. Maybe someone you know, not born at that time. <laughs> <laughs> so he made. And <coughs> Guru Mahal told that he has come. You should serve him. That then I served him water and uh, Fruits and other things, and he became happy. Then in Nadi, he again met. I served him. <coughs> he was bosom friend of my Guru Dev, and that is why he came to Mathura, where I am. I was in charge of that much, and there he took some nurse from our Guru Dev. In Sri Keshavji Gaudiya Math, I was priest there. I made danda for him and saffron cloth for him and taught that how it is used. <laughs> and from then, <coughs> when he wanted to come to New York, first New Jersey or New York, then he told me in Delhi, that you should make a bandage of my books and send it to Calcutta Seaport. And from there, it will come to America. I <coughs> became sick because so, so much, much dirty books were there. But even I did, 
and then I sent it to Calcutta seaport. And then from there, he told that I will go to America by na navigation. Sindhya navigation. Sindhya navigation. <laughs> and then he went. And he wrote me letter from America, New Jersey or Boston. Boston. Uh, Boston. That I have reached here, but I was sick in the on the way <laughs> in the way in sheep. Hmm? But anyhow, my Prabhupada has saved me. And then second letter he told that uh, I want that you should also come to with me in preaching and help me in preaching. I told I will come, but after later on I will come. Then I, for him, sent, you know, Indian Mathura Peda. One kind of very, very sweet, sweet. <laughs> tasteful. Oh, very he so was very much. fond of sweet sweets <laughs> and delicious things. <laughs> so I sent him. I sent him Kartal, Mridanga, DT, so many DTs. <laughs> when he needs, he used to write me that I want, you should send me. Always I used to send me. He wrote about 500 letters to me. Satsarup asked that give your letters and I will Biography. use it in his Biography. life. Biography. Biography. I gave, but he could not return. He never returned. But I have still Bengali <laughs> letters with me. And English also. Huh. English and Bengali both. And then he, published a book, uh, small he, book. he has written that I have the same transcendental relation with you I uh, as I had from my, my a spiritual master Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada. Same relation. At the time of departure from this world, in the same night, he called me Tamal Krishna Bhavananda, Brahmananda, oh, Vrindavan, so many sannyasis came and I went with him, them. He was on bed, but when he saw me, then he began to weep and told me to sit on his bed. But I did pranam to his court and yes. sat on a chair, chair yes. separate chair. He began to weep that now I am passing away from this world. Please excuse heart mistake I have done. I have done so many mistakes because I have told that Gaudiya Vaishnava they don't preach and they don't uh, write books and other things. They only eat and s see, uh, sleep. Oh, I have done so mistakes because they are my Siksha Guru. I have learned from them all these things. So tell them also to excuse. And also I have brought so many, I have collected so many monkeys from all countries. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> and he told in Bengali, <laughs> not in English. <laughs> Brought so many monkeys, but I could not train them well. So please, you should, must help them. I told, I will do. What you are telling, I will. I promise that I will do. And the last he told, oh, you should give my samadhi with your own hand. There were so many his god brothers, Ban Maharaj and others. Also Tamal Krishna, so many his sannyasis, prominent. But he told me that you with your own hand give samadhi. And also, Also, he told that you should. Do my Biraha Mahotsav, separation festival. Biraha Mahotsav. Ah, my separation Mahotsav, you should do. Hmm? As you tell, they should follow. And that he told. I told to him, but one thing I want to tell to your old disciples. 
Then he told, oh, Kamal and Brahmanand, all you should hear what Narayan Maharaj is telling. Hmm? I told, after your departure, I went. So they, they should be combined. And also want, they should give honor, proper honor Inshallah. to elders and also juniors also, both. If they will not do, then your mission will be collapsed. And you can also tell them to be very polite and humble. Don't control anyone. By love and affection, you can control all. Then he told, here, and you should promise that we will do. And also, you should always uh, associate with Narayan Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> then I did, what he did, told, I followed him. And then I, <coughs> Kamal Krishna, Gizhari Maharaj, Giraj Maharaj, Sivananda Sen, Shivaram, so many used to come to me to read Pushpanjali, Vilas Pushpanjali, Brahma, Jaiva Dharma, Brahma Sanghita. Then school leaders saw that all are very impressed and attracted to Narayan Maharaj. Then our mission will be so harmful. So they all did a meeting and declared that anyone should not go to Narayan Maharaj. <laughs> if anyone will go, then we'll they will be out. kicked out from Iskon. Because they knew that if anyone will go to him, they must be attracted to him. So I told all Tamal Krishna Prabhu and senior sannyasis, if you will ban on me, and will kick out those will come to me, then I will have to initiate. Still now, I have not initiated anyone. Hmm? And then, in whole world, world, I will jump up and go there and preach. You cannot do anything. <laughs> then, after some time, when my Gurudev Depart from this departed, then by the mercy of my Shiksha Guru, Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, your Prabhupada, and my Gurudev, I went everywhere in the world where Swamiji has gone or not gone. And everywhere I saw, in a couple of years, he has made preaching, established preaching centers even on the height of mountains, <laughs> in the midst of ocean, <laughs> in the jungle in, like Saranagati and so many places. And in so many couple of years, he had made lakhs and lakhs of disciples here and there, very qualified. I thought that these are my holy places. So, Everywhere I went, and everywhere, hearing my classes, all began to attract it to me. Shyam Rani <laughs> also came, and so many. I saw that Swamiji really made hippies happy. <laughs> One of the hippies, original hippie, so many seniors. And they all were gradually attracted to me. And up till now, I have gone to 26 times, six times all over the world. world. I want to visit Iskon centers also. But they will not be pleased. They don't never invite me. So from far away, as a holy place, I do pranam and return back. What, why he came in this world? What was the purpose? You should know that his Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, he ordered them, him, in Calcutta when he took Diksha, that, 
Oh, you can write English very well and speak also. I want that you should preach in Western countries. And when he took sannyas, renounce order, my Gurudev also told that now time has come to preach of our whole world. And then he began to preach everywhere. What? You should know. First of all, that you are not this physical body. If soul is gone, you cannot walk, you cannot think, you cannot realize anything, you will die. Understand? What this body is? A bag of urine, latrine, <laughs> and cause. blood so many things. If you, you will open, you will see what? Urine, latrine, so many insects, eh? bad things, nothing else. So, you are not this physical body, but you are soul. This soul and super soul, Krishna, cannot be seen by these material eyes. By chanting name, by devotional services, a divya netra, transcendental eyes will come. And then you can see how beautiful this soul is. He has all the qualities, very manu, what is full in Krishna. So, by doing bhajan, you will realize all these things and be, be happy. One thing more, who, are, who am I, who are you? We are eternal servant of Krishna, Supreme Lord. But we forget him. But where forget? In Golok Bindavan, never. In Golok Bindavan is transcendental bhumi. Land. There is no Maya. Not Mahamaya. We cannot forget there. So we have come from a marginal point Tata. that is called Tatastha. Tatastha means no water, no land. In between. In between. Though there is no place like this, mm -hmm. but it has been supposed. So by that, where we have come, not Golok Bindavan. And we are bewildered and then forget Krishna and come, came to this world. Now we are th thinking, we are this body, not soul. And always whatever we do to protect, save our this body. We are collecting so much money that by money we can be happy. But you should know. Money cannot give you happiness, never and never. You cannot eat meat, uh, money. Hmm? If money will come, then you will be, you will have false pride. False ego. Ego. And then you will drink alcohol. And you will make so many ladies friend, girls friend. And thus, you will be debated from Krishna forever. So in Bhagavatam, it has been told, when you will die, what you have collected so much money, crores and crores of dollars or anything, but you cannot take with you a single vice. Always remember this. We are only trying hard to make money like donkeys. Donkeys are told very foolish, but we are more foolish than donkeys. So, what will go with us? Only what we are chanting to Krishna. This devotional service. And this will make you realize that I am soul. Very beautiful form, having all good qualities. And by serving, 
Krishna and Radhika in transcendental world, you will be happy forever. There is no old days, no suffering, no birth and death. No Here, endless pain of endless birth and death, you are bound to enjoy. So if you want to be happy forever, you should chant, remember. But yourself cannot do. A qualified guru is needed. If you want to learn anything in this world, eh? you'll have to go to a school, college, here, there. You'll have to learn it from any qualified teacher. So, we'll have to go a very qualified guru. And for this, it has been told, tasmat gurum prapaddeit jigyasu shreya uttamam. Sabde parecha nishnatam brahmanu pashbhasya. Those who is very learned in all scriptures, that he can remove the doubts of any doubt of disciples. He should, must have some uh, realization about Supreme Lord. And third, he must be detached from worldly these things. Then he is Guru and he can help you. If anyone is well, always making money and very attracted to that money or very attracted to any lady <coughs> or any man, he is not guru. So, you know one thing more, that when anyone goes to Gurudev, like so many thousands and thousands of disciples went to Srila Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Maharaj, and he initiated. Shraddha came, faith came. What faith? That if I will serve Krishna, I, I have done everything. My life is successful. This is Shraddha, faith. After that, Guru told that you should chant name, do Archan, Pujan, and other things. Be, as, uh, you should associate with high class of Vaishnav. Then, Nishtha used to come. But still, taste has not come. That is, test means? Ruchi. Ruchi. Bhakti standard, uh, starts from Shraddha. Shraddha, Guru Seva, Guru Karan, uh, Acceptant Guru, and then Bhajan Kriya. Bhajan. And then Nishtha comes. But if Ruchi has not come, in hearing Harikatha, serving Vaishnav, in Archan, in cooking of Thakurji, if Ruchi has not come, then this time is very critical. And that went with Eskon. Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj gave them Shraddha, Bhajan Kriya also, the process of doing Bhajan, everything. Nishta began to come, but Ruchi could not come, and he passed away from this world. And that is why all the sannyasi, top to bottom, oh, deviciating, deviciating, one after another, on after another. And those who are now present, oh, they don't chant. Well, no need of chanting. My disciples are chanting for me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> but they say, oh, Narayan Maharaj, Always, unko nicha dikhlata hai. Kisko? Swami ji ko. Unki baat. Always minimize. He virodh karta hai. Against him and minimize. Against him. 
Do I always honor him, glorify uh, him? Honor him, glorify him everywhere that he is my Shiksha Guru. And really he was my Shiksha Guru. How can I criticize him? I never. Oh, Shamrani is here. He knows that those who came to me, I increased their faith to their Guruji. So, only they criticize me that anyone should not go. But all coming to me, hearing to me. So, I think that it will be proper for your life. Your life will be successful. If by expert you should receive Hare Krishna Nam and initiation, and very soon with a strong fear that only by this I can be happy in this world, then your life will be success. If you are chanting name with this strong belief, then you see that in a couple of days you will feel that I am happiness, happy. In Bhagavatam it has been written, Jayatma Samprasidati, Shravai Punsang, Paro Dharmo, Jato Bhakti Radhok Khaje, Ahetukya Apratihata, Jayatma Samprasidati. What meaning? This is the real transcendental dharma of anybody. So always engaged in Krishna service. This is, by this only one can be happy. Otherwise, no. never, never, and never. Oh. Gaur Pramanande. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> should you speak something. Om Ajnanam Timirandasya Gyanam Jana Salagaya Chaksurun Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave First, I offer my unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Diksha Gurudev, Nichalila Pravishta Om Vishnupad, Astodara Satashi Srimad Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the same unlimited obeisances in the dust of the lotus feet of my most worshipable Shiksha Gurudev, Om Vishnupad, Astodara Satashi Srimad Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, to all of our disciplic succession and uh, all the assembled devotees. So Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words. So following in the line of what he's presenting, that uh, you can ask Shamarani, she'll tell you how I glorify Srila Prabhupada. So my personal experience is uh, an experience of an example that Srila Gurudev gives about our, our Srila Prabhupada's books. That is, his books are like a treasure chest. And we were able to open up the treasure chest by his mercy and get some treasures in there. But within that treasure chest, there's another treasure chest, and that is locked. And the key is not with, you all. And the key is not with us. <laughs> the key is in the hands of the Mahabhagavat. Jaha Bhagavata Pada Vaishnavarastani. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the Chaitanya Charitamrita it states, if you want to understand Srimad Bhagavatam, then the key is in the hands of the Mahabhagavat. You should fall at his feet and hear from him. Even though I received initiation, two initiations from our Srila Prabhupada, I'm understanding from Srila Gurudev now that the initiation that I received from Srila Prabhupada was entering the course of initiation, entering the course of diksha. I thought I'm already initiated, but also in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, it states that one who is actually initiated, he is serving the Lord with transcendental senses. And I was still feeling my material senses, but still I was thinking that I'm initiated. So Srila Gurudev explained that di means divyagyanam dadati giving transcendental knowledge and realization of my relationship with Krishna as a beloved, as a cowherd boy, whatever the case may be. And ksha means the taking away of all obstacles, all impediments, 
caused by sins and offenses, all impediments to realize that relationship. So one who actually has diksha is somebody like Narada Muni, who has no more impediment. He has his realization of his relationship with Krishna, with Ram, with uh, Lord Vishnu, and he's traveling without any impediments beyond time and space all throughout the universes, playing his veena and chanting Hare Krishna. This is the actual platform of diksha, when one reaches bhava bhakti and then prema bhakti and actually sees the Lord face to face and experiences his relationship with him, that is the graduation of diksha. So even though I thought that I had diksha, there were so many things I couldn't understand about what Srila Prabhupada was teaching. So Srila Gurudev, as he's told us, I am giving you the shovel to dig deeply into Srila Prabhupada's books or I'm giving you the key to unlock the deeper treasures of Srila Prabhupada's teachings. For example, since 1968, Srila Prabhupada taught us Namaste Gauravani. But I never knew what Gauravani meant until I learned it from Srila Gurudev. Gauravani is those teachings of right from the lotus lips of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And what are those teachings? Araju Bhagavan Brajeshatanaya Stadhama Brindavanam. My, hmm? my worshipful deity is none other than Krishna from Vrindavan, and his land is equally worshipful. I have no other worshipful deity. And the love of the gopis is the highest love, and the evidence of that is Srimad Bhagavatam. These are the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So in short, because I'll stop now, Gurudev is teaching who Prabhupada actually is, which I never knew before, that Srila Prabhupada is in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami. That means, just like all of his predecessors, he is a, situated in Marduya Ras as a maidservant of Srimati Radhika. This is the teaching that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu g gave, and I always thought that he was a cowherd boy. Srila Gurudev said that when he heard that all of us thought that he's a coward boy, which means that he's not in the line of Srila Rupa Goswami, who's Srila Rupa Manjari, then his heart felt like a thunderbolt to his heart. Mm -hmm. So now I'm learning and being in the course of Diksha, Prabhupada gave me the, and all of his disciples, the almond. And Srila Gurudev is teaching us how to press that almond to get the almond oil. In other words, to achieve the diksha that Srila Prabhupada entered us into. So we're eternally indebted to him. We're uh, trying in our horrible way to offer our life and senses and words to him. And uh, if anybody has any questions later, I'm happy to answer them. So all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to Srila Gurudev. this world, we must have any object of life. What is our aim and object of my love, my life? life? If he is not no, new, then he is like animals. And what is that? That's it all. The highest aim and object of our life. Love and affection of like gopis to Krishna. That they always have relation that Krishna is my most beloved. So this is the highest aim and object of life. And then you should decide the process. And what is that process? Huh? Adau Sadha Tata Sadhu Sang Atta Bhajan Kriya Tato Anartha Nibhritti Nishtha Ruchis Tata Asakti Tato Bhava Tata Prema. This is. Begin from Sadha. It will come by association of high class of Vaishnava. And then you know the glorification of Guru. Then Guru Karan. And after then Sarva Guru Dev. 
as your huh? intimate friend, intimate soulmate. friend, and after that he will teach you what are the process of bhakti, shravanam, kirtanam, vishnu, smarana, and by this gradually nistha will come, then ruchi will come, then asakti, then bhav, transcendental bhav will come, and then prem. This is process. And to preach this aim of the life and also the process, Swamiji came, I am coming, I am training all that they should preach the mission of our Guru Parampara, coming from Krishna, Brahma, and then up to now. This is our aim and object of the life. Mm. Uh, any question, anyone? Gurudev, I just wanted to uh, clarify for some of the people here who are new to uh, Krishna consciousness and to, uh, to meeting a spiritual teacher like yourself. Some, some are new here in this. And can you clarify a little bit the relationship of guru and disciple? If, if someone is coming to guru, and what is he asking from guru? to become disciple? And what is Guru, what is he offering to, dis to the person to become his disciple? What is this exchange, this relationship? <clears throat> In Srimad Bhagavatam, it has been written that all in this world want to be happy. They don't want suffering. But in the end, when they become old, very weak, they cannot test anything, then they think, oh, I was very wealthy. Very qualified daughter, sons, my wife, everyone. But now I am dying without any help. I cannot speak. Kantham ghar ghar ayate. By cup, beat and ball. We cannot do anything. So, what we should do? All becomes old. And in world, old age, they realize this. So, by what process I will be happy? Then they go to any expert guru, and then expert guru tells him, world um, wealth is against transcendental love. If you, have, you are very wealthy, then your mind will be go here and there to manage all these things. How can you give your totally mind to Krishna? So this is against. So you should always chant Krishna name. Do services to Krishna. Whatever you do to please Krishna. Not for you. This is bhakti. Real bhakti. Uttama bhakti. What? Our activities of mind, body, and words, words and moods, sentimental moods, sentimental moods. If it is engaged only to please Krishna, then pure bhakti comes. But if any worldly desire you have, and you think that by karma and gyan, we can have bhakti. Oh, this is wrong. You should avoid all these things. Always engage all these if activities to please Krishna. So, Rupa Goswami and others have told how the process I have given. It is so long. So, bhakti only. By doing those, you can be happy.
then he accepts guru and then he bega begins to practice bhakti guru and in some time he realizes that i am happy Any other questions? Come in here. Oh, here's a question. If um, if one is uncertain of uh, their dharma and even not ready to give it up, um, they they give up their dharma. How do you in know what your dharma is to engage it in in your service? He's telling that if we are engaged in some dharma, some dharma, any dharma we may be engaged in, but we do not know whether this is proper for Krishna or what is the proper dharma to engage in Krishna bhakti, what do we do? Oh. When we go to any high class of guru, he will automatically tell all these things. Then he will not doubt what to do and what not to do. This is the duty of Guru. And he, he, he will show by his own behavior, example. 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 So automatically this thing will go away. Gaur Premananda. Jaya Guru Deva Jaya Guru